Here's my third attempt at an anthill. Let's see how this one comes out. Just like all of these start out, you gotta get the foundry lit and melting metal before you can do anything. I love that sound. Sped up for convenience, I probably spent uh, roughly 45 minutes dumping cans into there, letting them melt down. I had what I thought was enough metal, I just simply poured it into the hole I prepared at the top of the hill. If you watch Little Sparks episode 4, and Hill Prep, this is actually the one that uh, was prepped in that video. You see the GoPro in the corner? Well, here's the angle that that camera caught after I put the grass fire out. See, just a smooth, continuous pour. And then as I finish it up, you can see it's shrinking down in there, flowing down into the channels. There wasn't uh, as much metal as I'd prefer to be on top. I didn't really get a good base, but that's okay. Again, sped up so you don't have to watch a grown man playing in the dirt. This probably took me um, an hour and 20 minutes or so dig this all out with my little hand shovel. I did take a break in the middle, switch camera angles. Just dig around it, try to get underneath it so that you can pull it out. And then take your ball of dirt and spray it out with the hose. Revealing the artwork that is inside. As you can see here, the final casting came out rather nicely, except for the lack of a base for it to stand on. This end down here would be the top of the hill, and then it travels down deeper into the mound in this direction. Overall, it's roughly 14 inches wide, and right around 21 inches tall. 10 pounds of metal. And from subscriber request, here are some high definition close up photos of the channels. Feel free to pause and take a closer look. As you saw, that could have used a little bit more metal to get a better base on it, but I still think it came out pretty darn good. I'm happy with the results. Thanks for watching.